Hello. Welcome to Caterpillars Cannot Fly. By my daddy, Richard Watterson. Calvin was a caterpillar me. whose dream it was to fly. His friends thought this was silly, but encouraged him to try. Hey Calvin, check this out. We've made you a pair of wings. We're not sure if they'll work, but it's worth a try, we think. Calvin strapped them on and saluted to his friends. Narrowed his eyes and focused. Down the hill he descends. Faster and faster he ran, shouting, It's all or nothing now. Flapped his arms, leapt in the air and tumbled to the ground. Come on, I'll help you up. You can have another go. But caterpillars don't have wings, I thought I'd let you know. Later that day Calvin wow. saw a bee go whizzing by. Then thought to himself, Perhaps he will help me try. Hey bee, I'd love to fly. Can you show me how? I'm sorry little caterpillar, I've not got time right now. I understand that's fair enough. Perhaps another day? Then B had a little chuckle and couldn't help but say, I didn't think you were being serious. I thought it was a joke. I really have to go now, but there's something you should know. B shouted out as he flew away over the hill. Caterpillars cannot fly and they never ever will. Then he met a spider, hanging from a tree. Wow, said Calvin, that looks fun. Can you teach that to me? Oh no, said the spider dangling there, trying hard not to laugh. You can't do this, she said. It's much, much too hard. Ah, that is such a pity, as I'd really like to try. I've already been told today that I'll never ever fly. Fly, you say? Well, I never. That simply is absurd. There's no chance that a caterpillar could fly like any bird. It's plain to see you don't have wings, therefore you do not fit the bill. So, caterpillars cannot fly, and they never ever will. Now off you pop, off you go, I really cannot help. I've way too much to do, you see, I've got to weave this web. Calvin, feeling a little sad, pretended not to care. Saw something glistening in the distance. What's that over there? Hey there, Mr. Snail. How are you today? I must say that your shell's so bright it can be seen from far away. I feel I'm plain and green. I would love to be bright like you. Don't be silly, my little friend. You should be happy just being you. Ah, oh, that's so nice of you to say, but I really want to shine. To be colourful and fly are big, big dreams of mine. You should accept yourself for who you are, as it's not a race you see. For I wish I was really fast, but that's impossible for me. I have to go as I need to train, so I'm off down to the gym. Beetle wants a race, and I have to beat him. Before I go, I'll let you know your dream you cannot fulfil. Because caterpillars cannot fly, and they never ever will. Calvin, feeling a bit fed up, continued on his way. Decided that his dream to fly was maybe not today. Then on this dark and moonlit night, our Calvin heard a noise. It was his very own oh. god fairy, using her quiet voice. Hi Calvin, it's me, your fairy godmother, she said. It's maybe time you made yourself a caterpillar's bed. Then Calvin felt an urge and a need to climb a tree and made himself a cocoon which was as cosy as could be. A few days passed and the cocoon started to break. What's this inside that is trying to escape? Out of the dull and gloomy cocoon fluttered the wings of the most colourful butterfly. With a flap of his wings, he was off through the sky, experiencing the one thing most eager to try. The wind brushed under his wings as he flew up, up, up and away, since forever he dreamt of this day. 
our caterpillar turned butterfly was happier than ever. He knew that he could do it now and was very, very clever. Thwack and smack, it all went dark as he was eaten by a frog. Aghast, the other creatures looked on in horror and shock. That butterfly was tasty, but I'm sad it's in my tummy. I really couldn't help it though. I was very, very hungry. Another little caterpillar saw it happen close by. I'm ever so glad, she said, that I'll never ever fly.